Find the power series representation of the function and find its interval of convergence. The function f of x is 1 over the quantity of uh, 2 plus x squared. And so what we have to start off by seeing is that instead of starting from scratch and using the Taylor series, what we can do is build off of the geometric series. 1 over 1 minus x is the summation n equals 1 to infinity uh, x to the n. And so we're going to algebraically manipulate our function f of x to look like the geometric series. Our goal is to get a 1 in numerator, a 1 in denominator, and then a minus sign, and then whatever is after the minus sign will then be what gets raised to the nth power in the series. Okay, so we're going to start off by recognizing that we have a 1 in the numerator. What we need is the 1 in the denominator, so we factor out a 2 leaving us with 1 plus and then the x squared will be over 2 and we'll write that as 1 half times the function 1 over 1 plus x squared over 2 So we have the 1 in the numerator, we have the 1 in the denominator, we just need the minus sign. If you have a plus and you need a minus, you just make it minus the negative. And so we're looking at 1 half, 1 over, 1 minus a negative x squared over 2. And so we have the three elements that we need, 1 over, 1 minus something and then that can be represented with a summation where the something is raised to the nth power. But there's still the half that's on the outside. Okay, one more thing. Uh, we're going to take the uh, summation and break it down into parts. We have the alternating sign. We have x squared that's raised to the nth power. That's x to the 2n. Denominator we have 2 to the n. And then the 1 half that was on the outside is going to come inside as uh, 2 to the 1. This guy here, 1 half is going to come inside as 2 to the 1. And so our final power series representation then is the summation n equals 1 to infinity, alternate the sign, x to the 2n, all over 2n plus 1. I'm sorry, 2 to the n plus 1. That is what the function 1 over 2 plus x squared will have as its power series representation. And then the last part of the question is to find the interval of convergence. Now the limit as n goes to infinity, officially a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. Which turns into the limit as n goes to infinity and we have three different terms. 
we have a negative 1 to the n plus 1. We have an x to the 2, and that's all times n plus 1. And we have a 2 to the n plus 1 plus 1. And we have negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n, and 2 to the n plus 1. Alright. So that's going to be negative 1 to the n times negative 1. That's going to be x to the 2n plus 2 over x to the 2n, 2 to the n plus 1 over 2 to the n plus 2. Go ahead and cancel these negative 1 to the n's. And then we'll rewrite the other guys. Um, we have a negative 1 there. I'm going to write this as x to the 2n times x to the 2. And this is going to be 2 to the n plus 1 times 2. Technically, I haven't taken the limit yet, so we need to continue to write that. Now we can do our cancellation. And ultimately, we have no more n's, in, uh, there are no more n's involved. And so we're looking at negative x squared over 2 in absolute value as a result of dividing successive terms and taking the limit as n goes to infinity. Ratio test says that needs to be less than 1 for convergence. And so 1 half times the absolute value of x squared needs to be less than 1, or that the absolute value of x squared on the outside is less than 2, and take the square root, and we get the absolute value of x is less than the square root of 2. Okay, and if we were to check the endpoints, we're going to get divergence on both. At, uh, if we plug in root 2, and if we plug in negative root 2, we'll get divergence on both. Let's just check that. At uh, x equals root 2. Uh, the summation n equals 1 to infinity, alternate the sign, and uh, put root 2 uh, to the 2 end. So that's going to be 2 to the n. We have uh, negative 1 to the n. That's going to be uh, 2 to the n. And the denominator, we're going to have uh, 2 to the n plus 1. Let's write it as 2 to the n times 2. So all of this, that's raised to the nth power, is going to cancel out to be a negative 1. to the end. But um, over 2, that's definitely divergent. And then the other one's going to also be divergent. When that simplifies, That's going to be um, just uh, negative 1 to the n, negative root 2 to the n, to the 2n, over 2 to the n plus 1. Uh, that's going to diverge as well. And so the answer 